Yeah, kind of a bizarre way to start your day for the morning commute if you were out there this yeah. morning. A large lizard was stuck in a storm drain on the side of the road in the North Valley. Yeah, the lizard making its way down the Loop 101 near Cave Creek Road, and the rescue was caught on camera. Fox 10's Brian Webb has been monitoring the situation <laughs> that came to a happy conclusion. Most morning commutes come with staying in your lane and watching out for other drivers. But this morning in the North Valley, drivers got to look at a lost lizard on the limbs. Seeing him was one thing, but trying to trap him was no walk in the park. How do you wrangle a four foot long monitor lizard? Very carefully, of course. Try grabbing the tail, but don't bite off more than you can chew, or the lizard will do it for you. And at that point, it looked like it was chaotic. It was, but I had it. I had to get it down on the ground. Alex then went ahead, put some pressure on the back. I was able to grab it by the back of the neck. Mm -hmm. Alex and Casey with the Herpetological Sanctuary got the call around 6 a.m. DPS needs help trapping a big venomous reptile down a storm drain during rush hour traffic. Sure. No problem. For us, this is our first yeah. rodeo on the highway. Rescuing, rescuing reptiles every day, we do that. Um, but on the highway, that's the first, <laughs> first one. That's the first one. <laughs> the lizard apparently pushed its way through a chicken wire gate while its owners were away, then went from 16th Street and Union Hills, probably passed a park over a mountain and through a neighborhood before bumping into the highway. But there are a few mementos from his two-week outing, like this video captured by a hiker. What is up, my dude? And this is Archie the monitor lizard clinging to its owner, Seth, blowing a few hisses to say hello. Grew into a passion of learning as much as I can about them and then owning the coolest ones and the biggest ones and the smartest ones. And Seth isn't sure how this cold-blooded African reptile turned pet survived in the desert southwest for two long hot weeks. And so far, Archie isn't telling any tales. I mean, it was a shock initially, you know, seeing my lizard on the news. But, you know, the second I heard that the Herpetological Society was on the case, like, I knew he was in good hands. Seth tells me that Archie will get a hot meal and cool bath tonight and that he will fix that broken gate so that Archie can't escape again. In the North Valley, Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.